Dickens was not allowed to have blocks. I'll explain that. He had a magazine that he, he ran where every week, or maybe it was every fortnight, every two weeks, he had to produce a certain number of pages. So the poor chap was not allowed to have blocks. If he had blocks, he'd lose his house. He'd go bankrupt. So he had to get the words out, whether they were inspired or not. And it's very lucky that they were inspired. Now the interesting thing about this way of writing, which is a few pages at a time, is that the audience is waiting. It's like a serial. It's like seeing, I don't know, the Mahabharata or Ramayana or something, or a, or a soap. You want to know what's going to happen the next week. So people will be absolutely salivating. Congratulations, Craig, for this book. Very unusual book on the city of London. Red Elephant and Castle. I get off the tube at Bank and go to work. The next day I get on the tube at Elephant and Castle. I get off the tube at Bank and go to work. The next day I get on the tube at Elephant and Castle. I get off the tube at Bank and go to work. The next day I get on the tube at Elephant and Castle. I get off the tube at Bank and go to work. I don't think I know what an elephant is anymore. I can't really summon a mental image of an elephant. I hear that word and I just start walking towards work. The big lesson that I learned from, from Dickens uh, from my own writing is that a good writer should push himself out into places he might not be comfortable and speak to people that aren't normally spoken to, people whose voices aren't often heard. And I think that's in, an incredible uh, lesson for people in India these days, for young writers who are just starting their careers, because um, this is a country in a time of great change, full of, um, full of interesting people to speak to, full of uh, people who aren't, aren't, aren't often listened to. And I think um, on his 200th birthday, Dickens would probably want us to be speaking to those people. So there's great opportunity for writers, young writers in India right now. And uh, it's been wonderful. What's been more interesting for me and more exciting is um, is talking to the students, talking to young people about what they can do, what they can learn from Dickens, and how they can take the lessons of his methodology, take the empathy that he had towards the poor, and um, and use it in their own their own projects, their own books, their own writing.